Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever you are in the world, if it's afternoon or evening, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day or this moment. You know, for me, because it is first thing in the morning, <clears throat> I want to speak on the idea of having an attitude of gratitude from the perspective of this. When you woke up this morning, did you say thank you for allowing your feet to touch the ground? When you woke up this morning, did you say thank you for being able to hear the alarm clock? your alarm clock of opportunity. When you woke up this morning, did you say thank you for being able to appreciate to see your loved ones, or if it's your dog, or if it's something or someone significant in your apartment, your house, whatever the case may be, were you thankful? Were you even thankful just to say thank you for this shelter that I have? Thank you for the bed sheets. Thank you for the clean water. Did you wake up saying thank you for the fresh cup of coffee this morning? Did you wake up and say thank you for a fridge full of food? Did you wake up this morning and say thank you for the clothes on my back? Did you wake up this morning and say thank you for the job that I have? Did you wake up this morning and say thank you for all the negative people, challenges, or failures, or disappointments that I went through? Thank you. Because without those experiences, I wouldn't be here today. Did you even say thank you to be able to touch your vehicle? or to be able to step up and touch the bus to get on the bus or the train or the subway or whatever your form of transportation is, just having the idea and the sense to touch. It's interesting how most people in our world today don't even wake up with an attitude of gratitude because they are so much in this rush mentality of trying to get to the, the office, trying to get to a job, trying to get to the, uh, the bus on time or the subway on time, and never even take at least 20 seconds out of the morning routine to just say thank you, to be appreciative, to wake up on the right side of the head, to wake up on the right side of the soul, to wake up on the right side of your heart, to start your day. This little piece that I'm sending out to you is a reminder. This is not a lecture. I'm not here to instruct you on being thankful because we all have the capabilities of doing it. I'm just here to remind you of the importance of doing it. Because when we are understanding the attitude of gratitude towards ourself, we will understand the attitude of gratitude towards others. And we can only do what we are doing because we're doing it ourselves to improve ourselves and make ourselves better. And when you walk out the door having a sense of being grateful, you are equipped with tools, the shield, the sunlight of an, an, an aura about you that is light that is keeping life in perspective, but gives you a sense of balance of yourself to the point that people will be attracted to you. They won't be wanting to push themselves away from you. You will gravitate and pull people towards you because of your, your warm soul, your, your aura, your, 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 your sunshine of just having that attitude of gratitude. It does wonders for you. It does wonders to your face, it does wonders to your smile, it does wonders to your eyes, it does wonders for every part of your body, inside and out. So I encourage people to really take some time in the morning prior to starting your day, or even in the afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and just take 20 seconds of at least writing down what you're thankful for and having an attitude of gratitude or just even verbally saying it to yourself. And add it to your daily routine as something that you can start your day off with regardless of your situation. Because no matter what you're going through, someone in the world is going through something 10 times worse than you. Keep life in perspective. Have a great day.